never down, never Like a flame in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all okay. So, really, really random for me to start the video now. Um, because literally, this is what time it is. I hope you can see that. It's literally quarter past midnight. But my TPN at the hospital was put on quite late tonight, so that's why I'm so late. So, this video, I'm just doing my meds as well, I know again it's really late but I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, this video is going to be something a bit different. Um, I am getting a Hickman line place tomorrow. I just still can't believe that like, this year has just been so unpredictable that honestly, I started the year off guys with one medical device which was my PEG. So for any of you that don't know my PEG is my permanent J feeding tube that goes to my jejunum. Now 10 months later we don't have one, we don't have two, we have three. So just to sum up my medical devices, <laughs> I have these two are here that is my permanent j tube this is my permanent peg which goes to my stomach and that helps me bend out when i feel sick to prevent me from being sick doesn't always work if i can't get out in time but most of the time it works and my third one is right now i have a pick lining which i'll just quickly show you just to make this video make sense which is this here so that is my pick line and it goes in my arm in my chest and then down to like a main vein towards my heart <laughs> that's the best knowledge i've got at the moment because all of this has happened very very quickly um i got diagnosed with intestinal failure um about three weeks ago and within that space of three weeks, I've had to take in the fact that TPM for me is my only option right now to basically survive because my stomach doesn't work, my bowel now doesn't work, and the only way for my body to get nutrients is through like intravenously. So basically the only way right now for me to have nutrients for my body to still be here is basically intravenously and it goes towards my heart. Um, so yeah, it's just been very, very an overwhelming few weeks. Um, so right now I have a pick line in my arm, which is where the TPN goes, which is that nutrition. Um, and because this is going to be long term, I have to get a permanent one put in. So this one, I think the doctor said it can only stay in for like 12 months. So basically I'm getting a hick one line put in, which can stay in apparently forever. Um, so the pick line insertion was dead easy, like it was just done by the bedside in hospital by a CVAP team it's called, which are the guys that deal with um, pick lines. And it was just literally put in at the bedside, so it was so easy, they just numbed my arm, it didn't hurt at all. Um, however, Hickman's slightly different, and I'm really nervous. I don't often get nervous for procedures. I think it's because I've had more than likely had them before, but this is something brand new and this whole thing's just so overwhelming. So I think that's why I'm nervous. But basically, they are gonna sedate me. And they, as far, this is my understanding, I could be completely wrong and I'll be telling you a completely different story tomorrow. But they basically like cut my chest a little bit, I think. And they pick, it's basically the same as a pick line, just on my chest and more permanent. So it's gonna look a bit different and I think it's white. Um, they cut my chest, put it in, and I think it runs up here, up my neck, and then back down towards the central like, vein, towards my heart. Um, so they are going to put a double lumen in, which basically means rather than having one access port, it's going to have two. So I have two access port in my pick line right now, and this one's also going to have two. 
Um, so one line will be for the nutrition and the nutrition only. The other one will be for like bloods or if I need fluid or if I need like anything else basically just because my veins are non-existent anymore because I've been in hospital for so long and also it's just gonna be easier to have the tomb. So yeah I'm just very feeling overwhelmed, feeling very just nervous. I think because I'm just kind of worried it's gonna hurt a little bit um, and I'm only being sedated and I think the only reason why I'm so nervous is literally because when I had my endoscopy which was like a couple months back um, I remember everything. Like, I just felt the sedation didn't work at all. And I'm not sure if that's to do with my ehlers danlos syndrome. I might not react into sedation very well, but yeah, I'm just a bit nervous, which is probably why I'm still awake as well. Um, I just thought I would start this video now. This whole video is basically gonna be about my Hickman line, and I like to sort of share with you guys everything I'm going through. So for anybody else, like in the future, that's getting a Hickman line, this video will hopefully help. I am as honest as I possibly can be. Um, you know, every time I've had procedures in the past or operations, I've always tried to record as much as possible. Um, but my knowledge for what's going to happen tomorrow is quite limited at the moment. So I will close off this section here. I know this is a very long intro. Um, and we'll catch up tomorrow when I know a bit more info. And yeah, hopefully I'll sleep okay tonight. Okay guys, it's morning time. It is literally um, half past eight and they have just come in to say that they are coming for me in 10 minutes, which I'm so glad about because I literally said that I didn't want it to be really, really late in the day. I'd rather just get it over and done with. But like now it's actually happening. I'm like, oh. Um, I'm just putting some deodorant on because like, I'm getting a bit of like nervous sweats. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just feel, um, like I said, I'm probably just working myself up for absolutely no reason. It's probably literally like absolutely fine. Um, I think it's just because I've got in my head from somewhere that it hurts. So I think I'm just a bit like apprehensive. But I'm going to put some perfume on. Smell nice for the, um, for the people. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just nervous. But it'll be fine. And like I said, I'll be able to come home sooner because i'll have this done um the other thing that's bothering me this morning is i've got really 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 dry mouth um because i was just sick and i can't have a drink <laughs> so uh, i might swell my mouth out and spit it out rather than swallowing it but yeah so let's catch up with you when it's all done and i'll let you know how it goes i have had it done so this is actually a number of hours since I had it done. Um, I went down at about 10 to 9 and I came back up at quarter to 11. They did not sedate me. I thought they was going to sedate me and they didn't. Oh my god, my camera's open by the way. Um, yeah, they didn't do sedation. They just basically... Um, use local anaesthetic on the area um so that there was a few times during the procedure that it was really uncomfortable like to the point where i had to shut my eyes and squeeze my hands um yeah i'll probably go into more detail tomorrow because i'm just in a bit of pain right now but everything went well it is in which is here they did a double lumen so the line is quite long which i'm a bit like I didn't think it was going to be that long which I was quite surprised when I woke up but at the end of the day like it is what it is um that's when I woke up I was awake the whole time when I kind of like came round because they had this sheet over my face so I couldn't see it so I only looked at it when I came up um but yeah I'll explain tomorrow more about the procedure but I'm in quite a lot of pain they've just given me some paracetamol but because of my weight I'm only allowed one paracetamol which is really frustrating so I've asked them if there's anything else I can have. Um, I'm not going to eat anything today because I am not being sick when this is sore. So I'm just going to drain when I feel sick and just get rid of the bile and stuff. But yeah, I will update you tomorrow. i just put some like moisturiser on my face. It's quite a bit shiny. Um, but yeah, pain level right now is like a 6 out of 10. Before it was literally like a 10 out of 10. But I'll go into more, more detail, like what happened during the procedure. But the only thing I can describe right now that is sore is this here. There's two stitches there and there's one there. 
um, that's really painful and just my whole chest area is quite tight like every time I seem to like move my arm or my neck that's when it really hurts but yeah I'll go into more detail tomorrow about the actual like procedure itself and what happened um, so it's like you know that I'm out just come out of my gown which was like the gown I had on during it um, and got changed into this so hello everybody um so it is the day after my pain compared to yesterday is much better it's still tender but compared to yesterday wow um so i just thought i would like I look really rough um i just thought i would kind of like talk you through what happened yesterday um because i didn't feel up to it yesterday so just to talk you through it um i was under the impression i was going to get sedated but I wasn't so that really really got my nerves up because like I said I didn't know what to expect so I was really quite nervous but basically I went into x-ray I'd signed like the form beforehand you know like the wrists and what's happening and blah blah and met the people that was doing it probably went in the room probably about like 10 past quarter past nine maybe half past ish I didn't have my phone so I didn't actually look but I know that I was back up for quarter to 11 and I went down at 10 to 9 um, but basically they I had to get changed into a gown and then I went into the x-ray room. And then from that point onwards, they attached a blood pressure cuff and a heart monitor on my finger. And luckily for them, my nails are a mess and so overgrown and some have come off. So it was fine with my nail varnish. Um, we led down and basically they put some stickers on me. I think one was there, one was there maybe, and one was on my side. It was an ECG constant monitor because they did explain to me beforehand that my heart might have quite a few palpitations. Um, during this but they'll normally let me know when it's going to happen and because I've got pots I was they was expecting it um, so then they kind of got this like big plastic cube to kind of hold this plastic sheet over me so all of a sudden this big plastic sheet went over my head so I couldn't see what the person was doing it was a bit stressful because I kind of felt a bit claustrophobic but at the same time I didn't want to see what they was doing so it was fine and I had a lady there that was looking after me someone behind me and the lady it was um, a nurse practitioner that was doing it she was so 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 kind and first of all they injected me with local anesthetic and they said it's just gonna sting a little bit and it did sting but it only lasted for a few seconds it was really really stingy though and um, lasted for a few seconds and then she checked she waited a little bit because I've got Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and sometimes you can react to sedative or sort of like anesthetic a bit differently so they waited a little bit and then she said can you feel this and I said no so it's great all well and good to go um, as far as my understanding is about the whole procedure, what they basically do is make an incision here, then they put the Hickman line in, like down here and then in the sort of central vein towards my heart. Then there's loads of random things during this, I've no idea what they kind of did, but it was just basically making sure it was in the right place, they did a few scans, there was a few times she went like towards my heart and she said it might start beating fast and it did. Um, it was beating really really quickly so that's the first incision that they went into and then there's obviously a lot more ins and outs this is as far as I know and then once that is in place they've done an x-ray to make sure it's in place they then had the, uh, the rest of the line that's still sticking out they then put that back through the same hole and tunnel that through my skin then make an incision here and pull out the Hickman line from there so it actually goes in here rather than going in there first which I didn't know I just assumed just go in there put it up and round but no they went in there and then tunneled that bit under my skin so she explained to me that because it from here onwards that's where it goes into the vein this bit here isn't connected to a vein she said so if I was to get an infection in my end of my line here I would have a bit of time before it reached my vein so hopefully to prevent like blood infections and things like that and um, so it's given me a bit more like what's the word reassurance that if i do get an infection we can hopefully catch it before it reaches my bloodstream and um, so yeah this is what they did um so i have a double lumen hickman line and i think i've already explained to you but a double lumen just basically means there are two ends on it so basically that is there maybe i should come a bit closer it's still a bit sore Ugh. so that is my hickman line um it is pretty long i'm not gonna lie so look how far down it goes oh, i can't stand up very quickly look how far down it goes like my tubes start bear in mind there like they're all connected to each other 
my other one's hiding where's my other one there look how tubified i am <laughs> so yeah basically i have a double lumen which is there um, I have kind of like a dressing over it. She told me that there are two stitches there that need taken out in a week and one dissolvable stitch in there, which will just obviously dissolve itself. So yeah, pain wise, it's more sore here, I would say, than it is there. It just feels tender there. Although it's very, very, very itchy today, which I've told the nurse about. Um, I don't know if it's also, it's like healing or whatever, but it's very, very, very itchy, um, which we've kept an eye out for it. But yeah, TPN was on last night through my Hickman line. I had to have some pain relief or styling, I had to have some codeine and I had some paracetamol earlier on in the day. I haven't actually had anything today, um, but I, it's getting quite a bit sore now again. I think I might have potentially done too much today. But yeah, so I hope I explained it well enough. If anyone has, like I said before, any more info that I haven't included, please comment down below because all of this is so brand new to me and I'm sure I might have potentially like got things a little bit wrong but it's just this is as far as my understanding is about the whole thing and I'm sure I'll learn more as I go along um but yeah everything's flushed fine um we're gonna use one line for TPN and one line for bloods and meds so they said red is for blood so that's how they you always use that one and I'll put meds down there and this one only is for TPN um I had the nutrition team come take a look at it this morning and said it's absolutely fine and um, just keep doing what we're doing at the moment and yeah so I'll probably update you tomorrow just on how it's going but I'm just so glad it's over and done with like I'm really glad it's over and done with I think because I was I'd had built myself up with nerves because I just didn't know what to expect but the whole Thing I would just describe as uncomfortable and um, there was probably about five or six times during the whole procedure that it was that uncomfortable I kind of had to like shut my eyes and squeeze my hands but then it was over the most painful thing for me was when they were tunneling it in my chest and um, she said that my skin was really really tough she's not sure if it's because I'm quite underweight at the minute even though I've put on quite a bit of weight since being on TPN and um, but I am still underweight so she thinks it's due to that and like a younger age like if they have put in a cannula in someone that's older it's easier to do their skin because it's quite like thin whereas younger people um it's quite tough so she's really struggled and i honestly felt like she was going to break my chest at one point and um, but that was the most uncomfortable bit bit for me because it seemed to go on for quite a long time um but yeah i'm so glad it's over and compared to how i was feeling yesterday i feel better today and i did sleep sort of like sat up i think i recorded some last night and i was so uncomfortable i have no idea if you're going to be able to see me but just thought I would update. I cannot get comfortable sleeping. You <laughs> literally can't see me at all. I cannot get comfortable at all and I genuinely don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> like every time I move my neck it just hurts and I can't lie back down flat. I've tried and then I've tried to like start sleeping up but then every time my head moves it hurts. <laughs> it like pulls on my neck i don't know how to describe it but where it's so sore is there um and i just i don't need a thing i'm gonna sleep tonight <laughs> um but I, I slept sat up which is what i found on company because every time i move my head like that it hurt but now like i can move my head like that that's how much it's better compared to yesterday and like i said i've had no pain relief so i've just coped with it today so i think by tomorrow it'll be much better Hello everyone, so is this day two of my Hickman or is this day three? What day is it? Wednesday, this, oh my god. So I had it done on Wednesday morning and right now it's Friday evening. I am feeling so much better, honestly. Like pain wise, I can like move my neck clothes, like it's absolutely fine. Um, it's still a little bit tender, but it more just feels like a little bit of a bruise. But honestly, like I managed to actually sleep so much better last night. And um, the only thing that has been bothering me, which I actually got the doctor to come check me out before, is, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on this camera. If you're not, I will insert a picture that I took. <laughs> you can't see it. So, basically my hickman started really really itching all of a sudden and i looked down on it and i could see like wet around the i don't know what that's called that circle thingy like wet all around it and loads of like bubbles so i said to my mom like i think is this leaking like what does that mean 
If we call the doctor in, they was like, we can't see anything, we don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, I took this picture, like zoomed in and he was like, oh yeah, we can see it. They basically just say it's condensation. I think because it's healing, like, you know, like if a scab is healing, it gets a bit wet sometimes, doesn't it? So I think that's what it is, but it's really itchy. Like, honestly, you know when something's that itchy, you just want to like dig your nails into it. That's what I feel like doing. So like, I just keep like touching, like nowhere near it, but just to try and like stop that feeling. That's the only thing that's bothering me today. Um, I don't feel too wonderful tonight, you know, I feel like I look quite red. Um, but not in regards to this, I just mean like in general. Um, I just sneeze loads and I just feel quite cold. Hmm, maybe I should ask to get my temperature taken just in case. Like this whole thing to do with my TPM and sepsis, it's really stressing me out. Um, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to double check. It, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm more than sure I'm just feeling a bit run down. I was very, very, very tired this morning. So it's probably just like everything going on. It's probably nothing to do with that. But I don't know. I just looked at myself this camera and thought I look pretty red. Um, but yeah. So that's the only thing that's bothering me today. I've had no pain relief. It's absolutely fine. But like I said, it's just really itchy. But yeah, apart from that, we are all good. Um, it's late in the evening. So I'm just about to get in my pyjamas. And one thing that I keep, like, I say keep, like, literally the past two nights, like, when they're hooking me up, I've made sure that I've had, like, a pyjama top on, and then we've hooked it up underneath there, or I've, like, took my jumper off while they do it, because I did not want to make the mistake of them doing it over the top, and then I'm stuck like this all night, and this room can get quite hot, and um, the radiators are really, really warm in this room, and I'm always a cold girl, and for me to get warm, like, it's warm. So yeah, I'm gonna go ask them to take my temperature, but I'm more sure it's fine. Like I said, I just sneeze loads, so maybe just like a bit run down, who knows. Um, but yeah, TPM's going well. And I feel like I just look so much healthier. Like I still have a long way to go. Um, I just feel like it's gone on my face straight away. And today I saw my dimple for the first time in a long time. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, you're gonna have to ignore my um funny sounding throat today um basically uh i was sick quite a lot yesterday so my throat was like stripped itself um but it's been a week today guys since i've had my hickman put in and honestly like i can't believe it's been a week already but the pain wise that i had compared to last week like it's like non-existent the only thing that i'm struggling with a little bit is i keep having to like put it on top of my whatever i'm wearing like that only because um when it's in i feel like it's pulling down on me i don't know how to explain it it was in then just because um i've literally just got changed but after it's been out so inside for so long it starts like i feel like it's quite heavy and like pulls down so i have to put it on top um but today because it's been a week i don't know if you remember me saying earlier in this video but I have two stitches here and one dissolvable one there so basically i'm gonna have to get them taken out today which i'm dreading like not the fact that i'm getting stitches taken out so i feel like that'll be fine but i just know when they say to tape off it really really hurts um but yeah so that's the kind of like situation that i know is happening today um i don't think apart from that anything needs to happen apparently once a week you have to change your dressing which i'll probably do that anyway because i'm taking the stitches out um and i'll potentially get home tomorrow so it's just all going on at the minute but i'm still waiting to see doctors this morning so i'm not sure who's taking my stitches out or anything like that but i'll let you know when they've been done and how it went okay guys so you have to excuse my throat um i've just had my stitches taken out for my hickman so if you can see that's what it looks like i'm gonna get my dressing changed today as well um but that is sort of like a week's vlog worth of everything that happened in regards to getting my Hickman line put in. So I'm probably gonna close off this vlog now. Um, I feel like I've got too many vlogs going on at once. Like I've had to do my part four, my TPM, this one, and there's another one and I'm getting very confused, but I just mainly wanted this vlog to be about my Hickman line and how it went and things like that. But like I said, I have my stitches taken out now. Once I've had this dressing change, everything is good. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope it was an insight of anyone that is maybe getting a Hickman line in. It's maybe give you a bit more info. If anyone has anything that I've not mentioned down below, please put it in the comments to help other people. 
um, or if you've got any questions feel free to ask it's all new to me I'm still learning um, but I hope it was all okay for you so thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon bye Life is a winding 